Hi boys and girls, this video is a recap of the art ideas we shared on the second and third grade Zoom related arts class about animals. But anyone can watch this and anyone can try it themselves. So the first thing we showed is taking a paper towel tube and using that to turn into an animal. You could start by pressing down the top And that can be ears of your animal. You can turn it sideways. Maybe it's a mouth of your animal. Um, you can make it any way you want. We talked about how you can cut the bottom and fold these out to make little feet. You might cut all the way around to make some type of octopus or squid or jellyfish where there's tentacles all the way around. You might use other paper and cut and glue it on um, to make your animal. This is one that I made of a kind of a tiger where um, then I colored it with markers to add a little bit more personality. Another idea is to start cutting around your tube, just kind of turning it as you cut it until you get all the way to the end and stretching this out and you can make um, a snake or some, you could use this as another part of your animal. To me, it kind of looks like a tail or it could be the mane of a lion. You might cut, um, experiment and just cut out different shapes of your tube and see what kind of animal it reminds you of. So this time I fold it in half and I'm cutting out the sides. What animal do you see? I kind of see a fish. Maybe I'm going to make this the tail fin. And then I can always use my markers and add to this fish. Really big mouth on that one. All right. Now we're gonna learn how to make just a simple paper habitat. It can be a realistic habitat, like where they would live in the wild, or maybe a room in your animal's pretend house. So I'm gonna take a piece of paper, I've already folded it, Fold it in half, so I'm showing you that again, and press the seam. Then I'm going to take this paper, fold it in half again, press it down again. Then I open it up. You do not have to draw this. I'm going to draw it to show you. I'm going to choose one of these lines, and I'm going to cut on one of these lines and stop when I get to that middle corner. So or that, yeah, that middle part. I'm gonna cut and stop. Now I can take this flap and move it over this other piece of paper. So again, where I've cut it, I pick one side, it doesn't matter which one, lift that side and put it on top of the other one. Now I just need some glue stick under here or a piece of tape to hold that together. And then I can draw or cut and glue and make things and make my little animal habitat.